Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce Cathy Condon, the CEO and founder of the Brisbane Art Prize and also a practicing artist. Hi. Um, <laughs> hi Cathy. So the Brisbane Art Prize is offering a $10,000 first prize uh, <laughs> and it's open to national and international artists, um, which actually leads to my first question. A number of the other Australian art prizes that I've spoken to have found uh, international entrance a little bit of a challenge and I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, I think that's our biggest point of difference is the fact that we're open to the world uh, for our entries. I think the fact that the works have to be 40 by 40 centimetres uh, helps, you know, because with artists around the world sending their work, it's not that expensive, expensive for them and it's also... We had 13 countries represented last year and uh, a lot from Europe, but... Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's really interesting that they don't seem to have an issue with it. They're excited to come to Australia as well, which is a really nice selling point for Brisbane. Now, um, your theme this year asks for um, artists to interpret the theme of the meaning of life, which mm -hmm. um, I keep hearing uh, one of the Monty Python crew whistling that song. Um, but look, I'm sure that you're getting more serious entries than, than that one. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're expecting from the artists who enter. Sure. Well, I think, as you know, it's an open category award, which also makes it quite unique. So we have entries ranging from painting, drawing, printmaking, sculpture and photography. Uh, across all of those uh, genres we have, artists that depict their meaning of life. Uh, and so, as you can imagine, the, it's a massive range. Cathy, there's uh, a size restriction for entries. Uh, talk us through that a little bit and how that affects the different media as well. Sure. Uh, the 40 by 40 centimetre um, parameter is there as an equaliser. So often in prizes, the biggest one wins or the loudest one wins. This is a deliberate... Um, I guess a deliberate ploy by the by the pre-selection committee to keep everyone on an equal playing field, and we really uh, require that when we have you know the the open category. We did have some sculptures last year, so uh, they were hung on a on a platform. So that's how they sat, but they were no higher than forty centimeters, no wider than forty centimeters. So it was just you know three D, forty by forty, I suppose by forty. Uh, all the other works, if you, you're doing a work on paper, it's then, uh, you know, it's just to make sure that your frame is 40 by 40. And uh, if you, we do um, supply some canvases as well that are 40 by 40 for painters or multimedia artists um, who work with paint on canvas. Now, um, tell us a little bit about what the benefits are for the artists that make it to your finalist exhibition. I mean, if you're going to have artists from overseas in the show, I mean, how many are in it? Uh, where's it going to be held? Sure. Uh, last year we had 88 that were pre-selected and uh, hung and and that was the 13 countries I'm talking about. We had artists from across Australia, a lot of local artists around Brisbane, South East Queensland, but uh, what happens is the ones that actually come to the event uh, network heavily, uh, manage to meet a lot of other artists, talk about practice, art forms, opportunities. And that potentially every two years when the expo is on is expanded quite a lot. Uh, however, this year we're at the Judith Wright Centre, so that means that uh, we're, we're really positioned very well in the cultural hub of Brisbane in the valley. And uh, I think we're there in the shop front. We've got really good exposure. So basically anyone who is pre-selected for the prize gets fantastic amount of exposure through that. Okay, yeah. let, let's just summarise um, and recap the key dates. For so entries close June 30. So it's pretty timely, I think, because lots of artists uh, tend to work in, towards that deadline in the last month. Um, and then the exhibition is on in August, so it'll be 15th to the 21st, and that's at uh, Judith Wright Centre in Brunswick Street in the Valley. Yeah, the so, exhibition should be great. We've got three fabulous judges this year. We've got um, Bruce Heiser, who's got a gallery in Brisbane, a very reputable gallery. Um, Alison Kubler, who's a consultant and also a curator at the UQ Art Museum. 
and uh, Scott Maxwell, who works for Flying Arts, is out and about on the ground with artists all the time and is probably averages about three exhibitions in Brisbane that he attends every week. So, and it's not an easy prize to judge because it's a massive concept in a rigorous size parameter and it's an open category and it's international. So. All right. Cathy, thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us and uh, for all the artists listening to this uh, video, get your entries in. It sounds like an absolutely amazing exhibition to be part of. Thanks again, Cathy. Yeah, thanks very much, Ryan.